Hi, I'm Christina Whitney, a studio educator with Handy Quilter. Today I want to talk to you about couching. So if you can see, we've got a quilt rack here that's got some couching. We've got another one back here. So couching is using yarn or another fiber to stitch onto your quilt. It adds texture, um, it can cover raw edges, it can define a space or a shape, and it can create an all-over design. So let me show you some different ways that you can use your couching feet and have lots of fun with them. So to begin couching, you'll need to get your couching feet kit. The kit comes with three different size feet and you will choose which foot to use depending on the yarn that you're using. You want to make sure that the yarn can move smoothly through the foot, but yet still fill up the full space of that hole so that when you're stitching, the thread will go through the yarn and catch in the fabric holding your yarn in place. To thread your yarn through the couching foot, you're going to needle down, needle up, pull up your bob and thread, make sure that you're able to hold on to both of the tails, and then move the machine back to where you had it. Taking the tail of your yarn, you're going to slide it in between the two bars, and then slide it down underneath the needle and out to the side, holding both sides of the yarn and both of your thread tails. Needle down, needle up. Then holding onto your threads, go ahead and move the machine away as you pull that yarn right down through the couching foot. And now you are ready to begin couching. You can start with a normal tie-off like you would um, just using regular thread and then as you're stitching along you're going to want to let the yarn just kind of puddle have it loose you're not going to be pulling it but you want to make sure that it stays out of the way and is also nice and loose so that the machine can stitch through it. For this particular project I'm using Pro Stitcher so I'm going to do an all over edge to edge design using the Pro Stitcher just on a solid piece of fabric. It is a very quick and easy way to do a baby quilt. It adds extra texture, extra color, and it's just lots of fun to do. When you get to the end of your stitching, you'll want to take a couple just extra tie-off stitches and then pull up your bobbin like you normally would. Needle down, needle up, pull it aside, and then you're going to snip through your bobbin thread, your top thread, and also through the end of the yarn where you ended your stitching. So in this video, I showed you how to use the couching feet with the Pro Stitcher. You can also use the couching feet with rulers and free motion. So experiment with them. Go out and try new things, but most of all, enjoy quilting.